the way in Microsoft Office has been around since the 2007 release of Office. The most common element is the new ribbon interface. The ribbon interface provides a rich set of controls that we can customize that are dedicated to your application or document. Each application in the Office suite can have a ribbon that is specific to your application and the Office application's features, all of which can be designed with a visual designer to get you started. Or if you find you need more control, the XML configuration can allow for fine-grained control of the process. The Visual Designer is a great place to get started. We use Visual Studio to add a ribbon class, and from there we can customize the built-in tab for add-ins or create our own customized ribbon tabs. This is done through a WinForm style of generated code behind. This style does have some limitations in that we cannot modify the existing tabs or controls. And we do have limited backstage views and views and context menu customizations. What the visual designer does do well is present the controls graphically and allow simple drag and drop from the toolbox to the design surface. We use Visual Studio's property window for properties and events. However, few events are supported using the visual designer. What the designer does provide is state management of all of the controls. Let's take a look at using the Visual Designer to create your own ribbons. For this demo, I have created a solution and we're going to create a new add-in for Microsoft Excel. So we're going to create a new project, select Excel 2010 add-in. Okay, great. It doesn't have any, the add-in doesn't have any uh, graphical representations at this point. So we're gonna create another object here. We're gonna create a new ribbon using the visual designer. So new item, select, the office options, which is the visual designer. So the ribbon designer will create a basic ribbon and provide us with a single tab object and a single group object on the tab. We can go to the toolbox and from here, we can drag directly onto the group all the controls that we need. Now, notice that you cannot drag controls onto the tab ribbon without being inside of a group. Every control must be inside of a group. So we can put a box there. I can put on a button. We have button groups, which provide horizontal buttons. Otherwise, all the buttons added are vertical. In this case, I can add multiple buttons to this group and it'll be horizontal. We can add check boxes, combo boxes, or drop down boxes. So let's take a look uh, at one of the simple ones. Let me clean this up a bit here. We don't need all these buttons. And let's go put back a group here. And we'll put back one button to work with. So now the properties of the controls are fairly similar in that most of them have the following features. For that button, if we come over here, we can give the button a name. So it's going to be button sample. We can change the size of the button by changing the control size. In this case, you see a larger button. We can provide a nice friendly description, my button sample. 
We can enable or disable the button as needed, programmatically or at design time. We can also associate an image to the button. So in this case, we're going to select the image. I'm going to add and import a project level level image. Uh, let's choose this Gantt chart here. Now our button has a Gantt chart. Let's give it a proper label. Sample button. And we can provide it with some tips. So a screen tip. This is the screen tip. This is the super tip. Great. So that is our very first button on our very first tab. Let's give that a try. When we run the project, Visual Studio will automatically register this Excel add-in with, with a Microsoft Excel. And it does that by actually creating, and we see here we have our sample button. So and when we hover over it, we have a screen tip and a super tip that automatically will show. When we click the button, it does nothing at, the thing at this point in time. We'll get to that later. All right, so let's add some events here. I'm going to double click on the button here. And we see that it automatically will add in the background a, a nice event handler, just similar to WinForms programming. And from this, we can, we can programmatically adjust the controls on the ribbon. Let me add another button before we go, and let's... And we'll do the same thing. We'll make it nice and big. We'll add another image. Let's import this pie chart. Great, and we're going to give this one a button called pie chart. The name button pie. Great, so I'm going to go back here. So I'm going to go back here. And let's do this. Every time we 
click on the pie chart on the on the sample button let's enable the pie chart button pie dot enabled and we'll do the opposite so in this case the this refers to the ribbon and we have a direct reference to the button pie the pie button and we have a direct reference to the sample button if we need it so let's run this see that it's loading up the add-ins here we go we're going to go to the add-ins tab and we can control the chart great 